What's happening guys, it's Jeremy Blanton with Remax Southern Shores and I wanted to take some time today to continue on the subject that I was talking about at the end of last week's video. If you haven't watched that one yet, pause this video right now, click up here and go watch it. In that video, I'm talking about the current situation of the real estate market here in Myrtle Beach. I talk about last year's market, the craziness that we went through, how things went through the roof, buyers were paying all kinds of money just to get a house and doing all kinds of crazy things and all that. Go watch that and then come back here. Okay, so what were we talking about? We were talking about at the end of that video that are there five things that are constant of Myrtle Beach that people want to do no matter what's happening in the world. If the market's doing great, if the market's doing bad, these are five things that you should consider when you're thinking about making a move. These are things of why people love living here in Myrtle Beach. So let's get into this list. All right, so the first thing on the list is just simply the cost of living. I've done videos in the past on the cost of living here in Myrtle Beach. You can check them out right here, but let's talk about things. Right now in Myrtle Beach, it costs a lot less than living in other parts of the country, whether that's day-to-day -day living or whether that's doing fun things. For example, we recently were visiting friends and family in Atlanta, Georgia area, and we went to the movies. A cost of going to a movie there were $18 a ticket. Here in Myrtle Beach, we can go see at the exact same time, the same movie, and the tickets are going to be under $10. So that's a huge savings. When you have a family like myself with three kids, that's a family of five, that's $40 to $50 that we're saving each and every time we go to the movies. Or for example, maybe we wanna to go to a sporting event things here are going to be much more affordable than other parts of the country. Or maybe we just want to simply go out to dinner. When we go out to eat as a family, we can average our price of eating out right around usually for a decent sit down meal, 60 to $80 a family. We were on vacation in Orlando, Florida, and we went to a sit down restaurant to eat. The meal for the five of us to eat at lunch was close to $200. So, a simple meal here in this area probably would have been about 65 to 70. So when you start to think about the average cost of living here, things are just simply more affordable. Let's talk about gas a minute. Right now here in Myrtle Beach today, the gas station right across the street from my office price is $2.86 a gallon. In Philadelphia, PA right now, same fuel is 29 cents more a gallon. Go out west to San Francisco, it's a dollar more a gallon. In fact, tell me down right now in the comments, what's the price of gas today in your area? I'd love to hear what it is. My guess is that South Carolina has one of the lowest prices around in the country. And so it's something people love. Your food, your groceries, they're much cheaper here. I had a friend who she lived in New Jersey and was buying a house down here. And for example, liquor. She told me that alcohol and liquor down here is way, way cheaper. A bottle of, uh, I think it was a high-end vodka that she bought up there would cost about $60 to $75 a bottle. Down here was around $30 to $35. So each and everything you can think of is just more affordable to live here in Myrtle Beach. And it's one of the main reasons why people love living here. The second thing of why people move here, and it's probably one of the top reasons, is our property taxes. South Carolina as a whole has the sixth lowest property taxes in the country. When I talk to people who are from New York, New Jersey, I always start the conversation and ask them, how much are your taxes? And when they give me the answer, it's almost always per month. And they're saying anywhere from 800 to thousand dollars a month. But when I explain to them that what they're paying right now for a month up there in taxes is what they would pay for the entire year here, they're sold. They're hooked on moving to Myrtle Beach and they're ready to get down here. As long as you turn the property into your primary residence and move here to South Carolina and set up residency, you can find some very, very good deals on property taxes and save a ton of money each and every year. The third thing on our list is simply the weather. People love moving here to Myrtle Beach because we have such awesome weather. Unlike other parts of the country where you get farther south and it's basically two seasons, hot or hotter, we at least here have four seasons throughout the year. We have amazing springs, we have awesome winters. Now the summer, yeah, it's hot, it's brutally hot, we have high humidity, but here's the beautiful thing. Our homes and businesses here, they're designed to deal with heat and humidity. We have great air conditioning systems and people that set them up in these homes so that you can stay comfortable even in the hottest of hottest days in here in Myrtle Beach area. 
During the winter, we have such mild, mild winters. You know, I think back to when I started in this business back in 2001 with my father. And one of the things we used to do every winter is we would create a letter and we would send it to whatever city it may be during the winter when a snowstorm was hitting. So if you were in Buffalo, New York, and there was a snowstorm hitting, we would send you a letter. The letter was pretty simple. It said something along these lines. Hey, the average weather right now in Buffalo, New York is around 18 degrees. The average temperature here in Myrtle Beach, it's in the 60s. Why are you living there anymore? Ready to move? Call us. And we would send these letters out to these cities on a regular basis. And almost every time we did, we'd get a call back from at least one or two people who said, I'm done with the winter. I'm done with snow. Get me down there. Nowadays, all that stuff has gone digitalized. And I use this graphic right here. You can check it out on the screen. These are the only shovels we use down here. That's right, a sand shovel. We don't need a snow shovel. You can leave that up north with your winter clothes and your snow plow. You're not gonna need any of those here. You know, it's funny, my youngest, who's now eight years old, has really only ever seen snow in her life twice. One was this past year and I call it probably the perfect storm. It started to snow overnight and by eight in the morning we woke up, the grounds were all white. My kids were excited to go out and play in the snow. We ran outside as quick as we could, made some snowballs, threw them at each other for about 15 to 20 minutes, and basically used what we could gather up to throw snowballs at each other. We went inside, cleaned up, made breakfast, and by the time we were picking up the dishes from the breakfast, it was already clear outside. Everything had melted. We were able to go on with our Saturday and to run our errands as if nothing had happened at all. That's the type of snow that I'm used to and enjoy down here. Unlike the days when I lived up north and would spend weeks it felt inside not able to do anything because there's six inches to eight inches of snow covering the ground everywhere so people love living here in myrtle beach because of our awesome weather the fourth thing on our list is just so many things to do here in myrtle beach you know myrtle beach has so much to offer to people who are on vacation but those who live here we get the benefits of enjoying these things all year round as well. It's so awesome to go and do some of these fun tourist activities during the off season. There's plenty of time available, they give discounts, and they also sometimes look out for us locals and give us even more of a discount. So there's so many things that we can do, whether that's going to play miniature golf, going to the beach, going to the Market Common, checking out Broadway at the beach, going to the aquarium, top golf, so many fun things that you can do here year round here in the Myrtle Beach area. In addition, we have so many amazing restaurants that you can eat at. I remember back to the days when we would come on vacation here and be in the hotel and TV 33 would come on. And every so often they'd run these random facts about Myrtle Beach. And the one time I caught one that really caught my attention and I've remembered it for years and years to come. It stated that Myrtle Beach has enough restaurants that you could eat three meals a day for a year and a half and never eat the same place twice. Yeah, there's over 1,700 different restaurants here in the area. Now, if you take out all the fast food joints and you take out the franchises and all, it gets rid of a lot of it. But there's still a lot of awesome and amazing places that you can come and eat. And as I mentioned earlier, they're very affordable to eat as well. So there's so many things to do here in Myrtle Beach year round. People absolutely love living here. It's so cool. I watched one of my clients who recently moved here. She's a new mom and has a little boy who's about two years old. And I love following her on Facebook because I'm seeing all of their adventures. They go and explore and enjoy Myrtle Beach. And they are simply having the time of their lives, seeing all of the amazing things that Myrtle Beach has to offer. So if you're looking for a place where there's things to do, you definitely want to check out Myrtle Beach. And the fifth and final thing on this list is obviously the beach. Myrtle Beach has over 65 miles of sandy beaches that run all up and down the coast. It is one of the biggest things that attract people to our area each and every year. And what's so nice is when you live here, you get to enjoy that sandy beach year round. Now, you may be someone like me that's not retired and is working, so you can't go and sit there all day, every day. If you're someone who's retired and gets to do that, hats off to you. You're living the dream that many of us would love to have. But as someone who lives here, we still get to go and enjoy the beach on a regular basis. Well, it may not be for four to six hours at a time, but the beautiful thing is when you live here, the beach is right near you at all times. You can go there, it's not gonna disappear. 
Let's think of it this way. When you're on vacation visiting Myrtle Beach, you want to get as much beach time as you can in because you know that at the end of the week of vacation time, you're going back home where you're going to be hours upon hours away from the beach. So you're going to spend four to six to eight hours a day. You're going to get burned like a lobster and enjoy it every minute of it. But when you live here, you can go down and enjoy it for 30 minutes to an hour, two to three times a week. I think back to what my wife used to do. And she would get up in the morning, take the kids to the bus stop, drop them off, come home, grab her purse, grab her keys, wave at me and head out the door. She'd go down to the beach because we live 10 to 15 minutes away. Hence why I live in Carolina Forest and love it. If you want to learn more on that, there's tons of content on this channel. You can check out on it. But she'd go down to the beach, walk for an hour or two, pick up some shark's teeth and shells and just have time to recharge and get her batteries ready to go for the week or for the day or for the hour or whatever may be going on. And she could go home with the peace knowing it's right there. She can go back and do it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. So when you live here, you have that right by to go and get vitamin C that will help recharge your batteries each and every day. It's one of the greatest things and why people love living here in Myrtle Beach. And so as you can see, these are five items that no matter what's happening in the world, what's going on with the economy, interest rates or whatever, people still want to live here. Why? Because these are five awesome things that are never going to change. So if you want to learn more about moving to Myrtle Beach, my contact information is down below. Feel free to shoot me an email or shoot me a text. I'm here to help you however I can. And as always, if you enjoyed this video today, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, get that bell on, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.